John and Ken Show, John Cobell and Ken Shampoo, KFI, AM640. I find, I find this whole issue to be so fascinating because it's getting worse and worse and worse. People are getting angrier and angrier, and most of the politicians are folding their arms and refusing to do anything about it. It's not going away, and people's anger over this is not going to go away. And we have discussed the homeless problem in San Clemente before, but it's been a while. And we heard from a listener by the name of Alan. He said he's lived in San Clemente since 1982. We are quickly watching our North Beach section near our historical swim club and casino being ruined. Now the homeless have pitched tents and they're just staying there. No police activity. I think the city's given up. Get Alan uh, Throckmorton on from San Clemente. Alan, thanks for uh, contacting us. Thanks for coming on. Hey, hey, thanks so much, John and Ken. You know, I, I just had to reach out. I've got so much passion for our town. And, uh, San Clemente uh, is a beautiful, beautiful town, and this is, this is terrible to hear that it's uh, being trashed by all these vagrants. D describe uh, just how bad the problem's got. A group of folks from Housing is a Human Right, Orange County, were planning a trip to South Orange County uh, for Friday, March 22nd. Uh, the plan was to make two stops, one in San Clemente and another in Dana Point. And during the trip, uh, we were intending to uh, visit some uh, homeless folks and maybe meet some uh, other homeless advocates out there. Uh, being from uh, north central Orange County, uh, it doesn't always seem like there's people that are working as hard as we are up here down in the south, um, but apparently there are, so we wanted to meet them. Now these days, very little news comes out of South Orange County as far as homeless issues go, and the lower half of the county is unfortunately the most resistant to providing any help for the homeless, and they're unwilling to embrace solutions that would actually benefit persons experiencing homelessness as well as at the same time they could preserve the quality of life in their own neighborhoods. So I accepted the invite uh, from my fellow advocates from uh, Housing as a Human Right, Orange County. Uh, I figured if something bigger came up or you know, something better, I, I could cancel. Uh, but when I heard John and Ken ridiculing uh, the homeless in San Clemente at North Beach uh, on KFI Radio, I knew that I had to take this trip and I would have to capture video and I'd have to talk to some of the homeless persons out there to find out just exactly how they're being mistreated. big thank you to our city council for uh, supplying us with 24-hour music that was consisted of a speaker pointed at us over the Holy Hansen wall and, and it was a uh, like a three-minute song about some cockroach or something and and it was on a continual loop and it played over and over and over uh, like it, it was programmed to keep going on this loop. Hopefully they, the city council could drive us out of here with kid gloves, like uh, like Gene James says. Um, I'm confident that we can overcome the nonsense of the ACLU. The ACLU is such a nonsense type of uh, organization anyway. I guess it has no bearing in this matter at all. But um, it says kudos for removing the vegetation at North Beach. So now we are considered vegetation that they have to mow over and, 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 and get out of the way. Oh, by, by the way, we have been every Monday and Tuesday for a year and a half getting out of their way so they can do their lawn work. We move our things around so we're not leaving spots on their greenery. Um, 
And then uh, towards the end here, uh, where they finally, as they sit here and watch, we have five or six city workers waiting to do their work. Well, actually, they were finishing their lunch because if they want us out of there at 10 o'clock in the morning, we're out of there at 10 o'clock in the morning. If they want to work at one in the afternoon after lunch, then we're off to there. We're out of there by one o'clock in the afternoon. It's nothing that hasn't been going on for a year and a half. But so this week, they have to put up barricades to let everybody know what they're not doing. <laughs> this is very nice. <laughs> and James said he's looking at placing us somewhere uh, in another point in time and. Uh, as long as we're not staying at the motel that's been made just for us. Which one's that? Oh, oh the, 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 the grassy knoll. <laughs> sounds like you're that's our hotel that he's sounds like you're talking about jail to me. referring to. It's just a motel for them. He wants to put granite rock all over there and see if we would go up there anyway. And believe me, we would. Okay, so after a while, we uh, we arrived in uh, Doheny State Beach there in Dana Point, and uh, there was uh, you know uh, some homeless folks there that were uh, lined up for a meal, and and uh, we met a few of them, uh, but uh, we couldn't find anyone that wanted to go on film, and you know since it was our first time out there, we uh, we didn't want to push anybody or pressure anyone, so uh, we did get two uh, uh, very uh, very nice homeless advocates uh, to uh, to speak to us on camera, so we'd like to introduce them to you. And uh, here they are. Thank you very much. My name is Don Lemley. I'm president of a group called Welcome In. Uh, Welcome In stands for Welcome Interfaith Needs Network. This is a group that started over 30 years ago with uh, a young man giving a sandwich to a person who looked like he was hungry. And it's developed into a group that now we have over 40 different groups, all volunteer, 100% volunteer groups of over 400 people who provide a meal here at Doheny State Beach for anybody who's hungry or homeless 365 days a year. The volunteers provide their own food. Uh, we also get food donations from Mission Hospital in Mission Viejo. Um, we also get uh, donations from St. Margaret's School, the food that they have that they didn't serve during the day, which supplements the food that we prepare and give out. Uh, we serve 40 to 50 people on average every day. During uh, Thanksgiving, we also have a group that provides a Thanksgiving dinner over in San Juan Capistrano, a Capistrano church. 
So we also supplement uh, on Christmas Day. We have a group that provides a brunch on Christmas morning as well as um, a regular standard meal on Christmas Day as well. Okay, and so what do you, um, do you guys offer any uh, like resources or uh, do, do, do we connect them with any uh, anything like housing or needs? Or that's not really our function. Our function is really related to providing a meal every day for people who are hungry or they're homeless. A lot of times we have people who are the working poor. Um, they're stretching their finances the best they can, and so if they have a free meal that's available to them every day, that allows them to cover the rent costs, their insurance, and so forth. Um, I Hope is here Wednesdays and Friday afternoons they're the group that provides social services, they have uh, case managers, and they also have uh, showers on a uh, Saturday morning that are provided free of charge to anybody uh, who likes that. I also want to mention that we provide a breakfast, our group provides a breakfast on Saturday morning at um, uh, over near Capel Beach Church for those people who are hungry and need something to get their day going. Okay. Yeah, I got one other question for you. Uh, I read uh, in the paper, in the register, um, uh, back uh, in months past, uh, that uh, they wanted to put the kibosh on, on feeding out here. Uh, was that your group that they were uh, talking to with? Or? Yes, that's right. The uh, city of Dana Point, the council, has been very adamant that they would like us to stop doing this. Um, but we feel that providing a meal for people is our duty. As Christians, we believe that this is an important function for people to at least have something to eat. Um, the ACLU 10 years ago took our cause to court and we were adjudicated that we have the right as assembly to provide a group meal here every day in the state park. So thank you for defending our rights, our First Amendment rights. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, it, we think it's important. Um, you know, the, in Matthew 25, the uh, biblical verse is that providing a food, if you've done this to the least of these, you provided it to Jesus. And we honestly believe that that is an important function that we do. We have lots of different groups. Um, we have some church groups, we have neighborhood groups, we have church, uh, we have other affiliate groups who volunteer. Some do once a month, some do three times a month, sometimes they do once every six weeks. But my wife coordinates all of these groups and we have wonderful meals that are provided every day here at uh, Doheny State Beach. All right, well that's awesome and thank you for spending a few minutes with me and uh, let me know a little bit about uh, your organization. Thank You're you welcome. guys are doing a great job. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. Uh, my name is Dennis Etlin. I'm vice president of an organization called I Hope. Our main task is to provide mobile showers and because of the difficulty that we've had with the city in terms of locations, we've started to partner with Welcome In to provide case management services uh, two days a week on Wednesday and Friday so they provide the food here uh, every day and we come and join them on Wednesday and Friday to provide case management to the, uh, uh, the clients, the guests. And then we, have to, we only have about a half hour because the park police won't let us stay much longer. We establish, uh, we provide mail, we establish the initial contact, and then at our mobile showers on Saturday morning, we have a three hour time period. And last week we had 20, 22 people that actually showed up for the showers. We provide uh, much longer case management sessions where we make sure they get their, uh, their income sources, and their insurances, and we explore housing options for them so that they can get that in. So I hope, in addition to the case management two days a week, uh, the food that we and the services provide, we also, uh, and the showers, we are also branching into uh, housing support. So we have two, and we're uh, starting to look at preparation for a third uh, apartment uh, unit where we house two of the uh, sometimes homeless people here, those that have, we vet them pretty well. If they have the opportunity and the skills to generate income, we 
take them into a situation where they can work their way out of their current situation. So they have daily, uh, I mean, uh, monthly uh, manager, case manager sessions to follow up, make sure the progress is going well. They have a graduated rent, and so as they earn more, they pay more. So by the end of about a year, they are typically uh, paying so will you almost actually, full so rent. You guys actually have beds and uh, places for people to be housed, like a transitional. We're, we're doing transitional housing. It's de highly dependent on finding those other sources of income. We're not able to provide the income, but we can subsidize the housing for three to nine months. That's great. And that's what we do. And so we, we match, match up roommates and we help them go through. Uh, the case managers have to deal with all the classic uh, interpersonal relationships that go with roommates. Well, you guys are doing what uh, seems to be something very different for others to do. Uh, so uh, you're doing a great job. I just want to say one more thing. So, so we, uh, what we have here is we have a one-two punch. We got one man to provide the, uh, uh, the food and bring everybody together. And then I hope uh, providing the outreach and the case management and uh, possibly even some housing. That's correct. Awesome. You That's guys correct. are doing great. Thank you so we're much, Vince. We're here for Dana Point, San Juan, and San Clemente. Okay. Thank you very much. Right. Thanks, Tim. All right. It's my perspective, damn it.